What's going on tech friends? I have an awesome video for you today. We have a review and comparison of the legendary Pascal GTX 1070 versus its predecessor, the Maxwell GTX 970. So in this review and comparison, I wanted to make it very applicable and very realistic to somebody who built a system around when the 970 was released and are still using that system to see how much of a performance increase they will get if they wanna swap the 970 out for the 1070. So that's what I have here today, an i5-4690K clocked at 4.3 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of DDR3, 16 megahertz Cas9 latency RAM. So a little context to preface this video. The GTX 1070 and all the benchmarks I've seen is typically yielding a little over a 50% FPS increase over the GTX 970, but those are all in kick-ass systems with the Skylake i7-6700K clocked at around 4.5 gigahertz and using DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM. So with these benchmarks, we're gonna get to see if CPU becomes a bottleneck or if memory bandwidth becomes a bottleneck. And with running benchmarks in 10 different games, it should give us a really good idea of what you can expect. So before jumping right into the graphs, let's actually play some Doom together as we watch the charts for the temperature, GPU usage, the other hardware usage, and of course see what kind of FPS we can get with the 970 as well as the 1070, and then I'll give you a rundown of the benchmarks. So without any more chit chat, let's get right into this. So I went ahead and put the GTX 1070 in there with the i5-4690K with a little modest overclock to 4.3 gigahertz. We're gonna go ahead and see how it performs in Doom on Ultra at 1080p, and we have in there the eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz Cas9 latency random access memory. So let's go ahead and boot up the game. So we're starting off here. We have 160 FPS, so there's not a lot going on um, in this scene, obviously. So I'm gonna get going here. Oh, he's a strong guy. All right, so we got this uh, this pretty little guy. He's gonna try to eat me. So, oh, you don't want none of that. Okay, so this scene has a little more um, more stuff going on. So it looks like we have like 120 to 130 FPS. I will just blow these people away. 130. So I'm gonna try to recreate this same scene when I put the 970 in there. So I get. Um, because there's not like an in-game benchmark with Doom. So you're just gonna try to do uh, the same scene recreated again. So I'm gonna go over to here. So you pull this little heart out. All right, well, let's put the 970 in there and see how it performs. What's up? We are back this time with the GTX 970 reference model in there on OpenGL 4.5 Ultra settings. So let's go ahead and try to recreate the same gaming scene and see what kind of FPS we can get. So I'm noticing that the GTX 970 is boosting to almost 1300 megahertz out of the box uh, with the GPU 2.0 and the GTX 1070 was boosting uh, to almost 1900 megahertz. Uh, this is just out of the box so no tweaking of any settings just with the firmware that comes with the cards. All right so here we see starting as we saw in the 1070 we're getting around 160 and here we're getting like 110 and this little scene here that doesn't have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and show off that epic doom strength. And blow this nice looking fellow away. Okay, I think he's dead. Could have gone over here. So here, yeah, we're under 190 though. That's and that's pretty I mean, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Still, the 970 is a very, very respectable card. No doubt about that at all. The 1070 seems like it'd be for those 1440p monitors at 1080p, or for 1440p, the 1070 is really gonna shine. So again, let's rip this uh, little heart out. So it looked like it dipped to the 70s, 80s, there I saw 60 for a second. So definitely, definitely a really big leap if you put in that 1070 in, in a system like this with the i5-4690K.
All right, everyone, well, that concludes the benchmarks. So for my final thoughts and observations, I saw the thermal ceiling hit on the GTX 970 of 80 degrees, and the highest I saw on the GTX 1070 was 83 degrees Celsius. And my observations of the load on RAM was up to 83% in Batman Arkham Knight and around 77% in Star Wars Battlefront, and in the other games it was between 50 and 60%. And as far as the load on the CPU, I did notice when using the GTX 1070 in Mirror's Edge, Arkham Knight, and The Division, hitting 100% load at times as opposed to 80% load when using the GTX 970. So what's my final verdict? Is it worth upgrading to the GTX 1070? I definitely think so if you want to utilize a 1080p 144Hz display or 1440p display or 1440p 144Hz display and also if you want to dabble in 4K even if you have a system like this one. So please be sure to drop this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hopefully I can get some more hardware and bring you guys some more benchmarks and some more tests. Hopefully this same setup with a little bit of a snazzier system with the i7-6700K to see how much of an increase we will get. But as it is, with the i5 4690K and two 4 GB sticks of DDR3 memory, you will see a pretty tremendous gain if you wanna swap out the 970 for a 1070. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and let me know if you guys are planning to upgrade or you've upgraded recently. And as always, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Tech. I can't wait to catch you guys in the next video.